Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? I welcome you to the episode 4 of Mathematics series. Uh, let's recap first what we did in first 3 episodes. As you all know, in first episode we talked about triangular numbers. We learned how to add all the consecutive natural numbers from 1 to any. Or you can begin from any point and can go to up to anything. We learned through rope method. Uh, I gave you exercise and you all really uh, showed a remarkable response by sending us all the assignments for the quizzes. In the second episode, we talked about uh, how to add odd numbers. When we were adding odd numbers, we found a beautiful pattern of squares. And then again, you all attempted the quiz. Uh, many of the students re responded with the right answers and as we already discussed in episode 3. And in episode 3, we discussed about how to square a number real quick. I hope you are getting faster in it. I hope you are getting hang of it. I hope you all have learned how to square it fast. At the same time, we when we discussed the why part of the technique behind squaring fast was a square minus b square. Many of you must have decoded the pattern. Many of you still not aware what exac exactly a square minus b square is or maybe many of you knows, know what exact, what is a square minus b square but don't know why uh, a square minus b square equals a plus b into a minus b. That is why we are taking the uh, episode 4 for understanding first what is a plus b whole square. When I talk to many of the students, even in class 10th, 11th, when I ask them what is a plus b whole square, they say a square plus b square plus 2ab. Everyone knows what is a plus b whole square. But when I ask them, why do you say that a plus b whole square equals a square plus b square plus 2ab? They come up with that, sir, if we multiply a plus b with a plus b, uh, you will get all the three, uh, you will get all the four terms, a square, ab, ab and b square, and then you add it up to get a square plus 2ab plus b square. Somehow, they are not wrong. I won't say they are wrong, but somehow, students who are not very pro with uh, mathematics, they find it extremely boring of uh, multiplying so they need something visual because uh, we when we visualize something we really like it similarly so we are going to talk today about a plus b whole square so let's begin so before we begin a plus b whole square we must understand what is a plus b so geometrically we are going to visualize things let's say i'll just use red ink for a so let's say just a sec let's say this is a Okay, everybody can see that this length is A. So, I'll just write A. Now, I'll use the black ink and I'll just stretch this. Wait, I'll just say this is B. So, everybody agree with me that this is A and this is B. So, this line segment, this red line is A and this black line is B. Now, I'm going to add them. Add them means we are going to put one by one together. So I'll just stitch them together. So I have stitched it end by end. Now, if I ask you what is this complete length? So everybody can easily say that sir it is A plus this is sir A plus B. Everybody agree with that, right? So you understand what do you mean by A plus B. Okay, second thing I want to talk about is let's say what do we understand by a into B. Now again I'll just uh, take the I'll just first I'll just take this as A. I can take this as A. Okay. And let's say I draw green line as B. Okay. So I'll just say this as B. Now I'll take this B here. I'll just take this B here. Okay, I'll attach it. Then I'll try to create what do you say? A rectangle. Everybody know what is a rectangle, right? And if I ask you, what is the area of this space 
or area of rectangle i hope everybody knows what is the area of rectangle if i ask you what is the area of this pink zone inside ab everybody would say sir it is basic it is basically a into b which is ab so we understand what is a plus b geometrically and we also understand what is a into b geometrically very good now if i give you something like let's say I'll just wipe it out now let's say i just give you something like uh, a square this is a square and if i ask you that okay this is a if i ask you this is a anybody can tell me what will be the area right what will be the area that is going to be a into a and we are going to call it a square right do you agree everyone so we understood geometrically geometrically we understood what is a plus b we understood what is a into b and we understood what is a square now let's try to think what do we mean by a plus b whole square so now we are going to imagine a square whose side is a plus b so let's create that square first let's create that square okay so i am going to create that square i am going to take a with blue ink so everybody can say this is a okay so basically i got a now we are going to create b so i know blue ink is a blue ink is a a now i'm going to take pink ink for b now let's say i'm going to join this so i get this as b and again this 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 as b now we need to complete this square so what we are going to do we are just going to copy this line copy and then we are going to paste and then i am going to create a square I'll just yeah hold on thank you and just a sec i'm going to copy this copy this and then i'm going to bring it here i copy so now i have completed a square whose side is a plus b so if you ask me what will be the area of the square you are definitely going to say sir a plus b into a plus b which means a plus b whole square now i'll just try to deconstruct this square to find what exactly the area is so i'll just use a black ink to show the demarcation so what i'm going to connect i'm going to join this point with this point this point with this point right so i deconstructed the big square into four smaller region if you see closely this is a this is a this is b this is b this is b then this is b this is b this is a this is a right so now i have deconstructed the big square into two smaller squares and two smaller rectangles now if i ask you what will be the area of this square you are going to call it a into a that is a square if i am going to ask you what will be the area of this square you are going to say b into b that is b square if i am going to ask you what will be the area of this rectangle you are going to say a into b if i am going to ask you what will be the area of this rectangle you are going to say a into b so now you can say a plus b whole square equals a square plus b square plus ab plus ab and which means a square plus b square plus 2ab yes you are right so you have decoded 
what exactly a plus b whole square mean so if anybody asks you what is a plus b whole square sir a square means a square shape and if we uh, if we find a square of a number which means we are multiplying it and geometrically it means the area of that square okay so now we are going to construct a square of side a plus b and then the area of the square is going to be a plus b whole square and if i deconstruct it i'll get two smaller square that is a square and b square and then two smaller rectangles that is ab and ab so that will make it a square plus b square plus 2ab i hope you all have visualized it now you will never face any problem at the same time let's take this idea to one uh, idea beyond let's say if someone ask you to multiply x plus 1 into x plus 2 now if someone ask you to multiply x plus 1 into x plus 2 you can do cross multiplication those who know till cl uh, cl from class 8 we all know how to multiply algebraic expression but someone ask you can you visualize it geometrically now i think you can handle it so how you are going to handle it you are just going to draw first x line so you have drawn x line and let's say i am going to draw one unit here so this becomes one unit so the whole thing becomes x plus 1 i'll just shorten my screen so that you can see a better view okay and then i'm just going to take another x with the black i'm not taking the scale so you can just assume that i'm taking care of the scale part so you can say this is x and now i need two units so i'll just mention two units with pink so if this is one i can say this is this is going to be just to say this is going to be two if this is one i am going to call it two don't mind my scale because it's just a rough thing okay now what i am going to do i am just going to copy this so that i can create a the perfect rectangle so i am going to say this is again and then what i am going to do i am going to create this part in the scale you can understand the idea what exactly i am going to tell you now i am going to use uh, let's say blue ink to demarcate now what i am going to do i am going to connect this with this i am going to connect with this with this now everybody can see i have again deconstructed my big rectangle into four smaller than one now if you see this going to be x this is 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 going to be 1 this is going to be 1 this is going to be 2 this is going to be 2 someone ask you what is the area you are going to say x square you are going to say 2 into 1 you are going to say x into 1 you are going to say 2x so i can say x square plus 2x plus x plus 2 that is going to be x square plus 3x plus 2 i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed how we imagine the multiplication of algebra in terms of geometry so we have connected algebra with geometry and we can visualize it and we can understand it that what exactly we did so uh, you can see uh, i whatever we did i have just summarized in this uh, flow chart i'll be attaching this flow chart in your description of the video so you can just download from there so that you can see what exactly we did in a summary form okay now the quiz time the quiz time what we have to do you have to evaluate the following expression geometrically i am sure you know how to handle them see the first is very easy you have to imagine a rectangle of x plus 2 and x plus 4 so you are going to draw x then two unit then x then four unit and then you have to find similarly this time i have bring another variable so you have x plus 1 then you have to create another side of y and then you have to add three units y plus 3 and then the third i have done little alteration i just doubled the x so you have to first imagine 2x and then you have to multiply with y plus 2 and then again you have to imagine another uh, thing where both the thing has been given uh, y has been thrice with four units added and x has been doubled with three units added and six one is very interesting i gave you three terms x plus y plus z into x plus y plus z which means x plus y plus z ka square so you have to imagine now a square with the three sides x then you have to attach y then you have to attach z and then you have to create a square and you will be able to do that and in the next upcoming episode we are going to talk about pythagoras theorem for that you have to do little googling little research work you have to find out 
who was Pythagoras. You have to tell us a brief, you have to write us a brief introduction or a brief life uh, timelines of uh, Mr. Pythagoras, his contribution, what he was, in which era he was, uh, what exactly he was doing. After that, what you're going to do, uh, I want one uh, pr sort of uh, project on his life. And then the second thing I want you to tell me that what exactly is Pythagoras theorem. Then th third thing you have to tell me what are his contributions. And the fourth thing you have to tell me what are Pythagorean triplets. I hope in next time uh, in, uh, you will be coming with all the research and you will be sending us your uh, assignment along with the quiz sheet. Uh, you will also have to write us about what exactly you know about Pythagoras theorem. Do a lot of research. Uh, block out at least 30 to 60 minutes only for Mr. Pythagoras and then try to read about his history. Try to read about, you will find all, everything related to Pythagoras on Googling. You will find uh, anything about Wikipedia. If you go to Wikipedia, you will also find about Mr. Pythagoras. And then if you have a collection of books on history and mathematician, if your parents are having, then do ask him, them also. They will also help you in this project. Okay, thank you. All the best. See you soon.